Joe Schmidt will uh, announce the team for the weekend. Okay, so we'll get on the way. Thank you. Uh, the Irish team to play in New Zealand at Soldier Field this Saturday is Jack McGrath, Rory Best, captain, Tyke Furlong, Donica Ryan, Devin Toner, CJ Stander, Geordie Murphy, and Jamie Heaslip. In the back line is Connor Murray, Jonathan Sexton, Simon Zebo, Robbie Henshaw, Jared Payne, Andrew Trimble, and Rob Carney. The replacements are Sean Cronin, Ken Healy, Finlay Bielham, Alton Delane, Josh van der Fleer, Kieran Marmion, Joey Carberry, and Gary Ringrose. Yeah, I, I think they're pretty excited. I think it's a, a little bit daunting for them, but at the same time, uh, it's, a, it's a great opportunity for them to learn. Um, you know, when they get out there, uh, I've no doubt the pace of the game will be will be pretty sharp and those two youngsters they uh, they can run all day and hopefully we're not chasing shadows um, and, and they get to ha have a shot with the ball and and uh, it can demonstrate a little bit of the talent that we've seen in them yeah look you know there was a there was a number of variables in, in uh, involved in that um, including the the balance of what was coming off the bench and and what, what we had starting and we have tried to go with a little bit of experience uh, just because of the magnitude of the game and, and the quality of the opposition to be honest um, so you know that, that's a starting point for us and uh, once once those younger guys do get on I, I think uh, that'll give us an opportunity to assess them a little bit against a, a very very high standard of opposition and and at the same time it'll give them a an idea of what it's like to play um, at the very, very top level. No, not at all. That's forgotten about. Um, it's, it's a new year. It's a new, new challenge. We're, we're playing against the best team in the world, and that's what, that's um, the challenge that that faces on Saturday. Um, I think we've trained really well this week, and um, we've been preparing for a, a few weeks up to this. So. It's um, it's really exciting and, and uh, yeah, just looking forward to it now. Joe, um, I know it's, this squad is going to be an end of the day, but with Peter and Sean O'Brien kind of being left at home, did you kind of just feel that they kind of weren't ready just yet? And there still is that eye of maybe kind of ease them in for the, the, the return game against New Zealand in a couple of weeks as well? Yeah, again, it was a really fine line call uh, because they, uh, you know, they. They bring that experience. They, they certainly bring a, a hard edge as well to the game, and uh, it, it's always tempting to play, put a player in. But you know, we, we just feel that the, the pace of this game is going to be very, very quick. And I, th I think we we decided that we just needed those those players who were probably uh, sufficiently match fit to uh, to try to do the job for us. Guys, guys on the bench, I mean, are they, they ready to go, or is this? Find out if they're ready. Yeah, it's a bit of a baptism of fire, isn't it? I think you know. Do we find out if they're ready uh, at such a, a high level? Um, you know, it, it's probably not ideal. It would have been nice to uh, to probably have them in a in a test match that was slightly slightly less daunting. But you know, they they've been quite refreshing in how enthusiastic they've been. They haven't shown signs of, of being uh, intimidated by the task. Um, and, uh, you know, I think the excitement probably at the moment is overriding um, the nerves as far as, as having to go out and step out onto such a big stage.